Coffee. I need coffee. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to the kitchen. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day folks. I was up at 5 o'clock this morning for a 6 a.m. conference call for the semi-annual board meeting for the Spears Center for Servant Leadership. Y'all check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, very interesting work that Larry Spears does. And, uh, and I've been on the run ever since, I've been running out doing errands, uh, hours of phone calls. That's what Monday's like a lot of times. And uh, it's now about 7 o'clock, so I've been at it for, what, 14 hours, and i got several more to go, which is why I'm still nursing coffee. Normally, I don't do caffeine this late in the day. But, uh, but anyway, we're going to do Mexican spaghetti today. And I first heard of the idea, strange as it sounds, in Mexico, I was 13 years old, and um, the family had gone back to Texas for some visiting, and uh, we went down to the Rio Grande Valley to see uh, this few acres of grapefruit land that my parents had bought, and a co-op ran the whole thing. Um, and they showed us the operation, how the co-op worked, but then they also took us across the border for a shopping trip, and then later that night, we went to a real Mexican restaurant over in Mexico. And on the menu was Mexican spaghetti. And everybody thought I was crazy to order it until they brought a cart out complete with burner and saute pan and cooked it right there at the table for me and, you know, talking to me about it and the whole thing. It's kind of like, you know, the, those Japanese restaurants where they, you know, cook right in front of you. It was, it was like that. I mean, it was a lot of fun. And uh, a couple of people tried to change their order after they saw that, and it was too late. The enchiladas were already coming out. But, but that's when I first heard about it. So that's, you know, 40-some years ago. Uh, but it was many years later that a guitarist that I was working with showed me a tomato sauce uh, Mexican spaghetti. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay. So without any further yakking, let's turn around into the kitchen, have some fun with some Mexican spaghetti. All right, here's what we're working with today. In order, brown sugar, chili powder, cilantro leaves, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, what the heck is that? Oh, oregano, um, salt, and we have a, a small can of diced green chilies, the mild ones. You can use hotter ones if you want. And then I've got a couple of cans of diced tomatoes and green chilies, a can of tomato sauce, a little bit of olive oil. Now, normally I would also use a small can of tomato paste, but I don't have one in the house. So I'm going to have to do without today, but you, you know, normally you would also put that in there. So let's take a look at this. For beginners, I know this looks like a lot of ingredients, but really it's not that tough. Look, what you do is go down the recipe one thing at a time and just get everything on your counter and do what I did. Measure everything out into pinch cups. Actually, if you wanted to, you could take one small bowl and you could put all of your dried spices and herbs into that single bowl, but just measure each one out going right down the list. And then when it comes time to hit the stove, you've got all your cans open, you've got all of your ingredients measured and you're ready to go. And then you just walk through the procedure like I'm going to do right now. I heated my pan first, then I put the olive oil in, just a couple tablespoons, and let that warm up. And now I'm going to put my spices in, one at a time. And I don't know if you have noticed, but I'm just going right down the line, one after another. and done. I'll take my big old spoon, that lump of brown sugar in there especially so it'll dissolve out, but I need a little more olive oil. What I want to do is I want to wet those spices and herbs with the oil and kind of get a super infusion going. There we go. That's what we want right there. You see that? It's a very thick paste. And as soon as I notice that bubbling, I turn the heat down. Because I don't want to so much saute it as I do. I just want to warm it 
and let that oil get an infusion of those spices. And so I'm going to leave that for just a minute or two. I'm going to keep an eye on it, but I'm not going to make you watch through all of that. We'll be back in a second. All right, we're ready to move forward now. And the first thing we're going to put in there is the tomato sauce. Now that's going to take the heat right off the pan because I've got it on a very low setting. Now that we've stirred it to blend the spices into that sauce, we'll go ahead and add our cans of tomato and green chilies. Now I really squeeze the bejeebers out of these things to get as much water out of it as I could and I do that regardless. Uh, likewise with the green chilies. Now we're just going to stir to blend those. Look at that. How about that, huh? Now all we have to do is let everything simmer for a while, get to know each other and get happy. Mm -mm -mm. It does look good. Now all we got to do is wait for everything to get happy and uh, see how long we can stand smelling it without eating it. Let it simmer for a good while. Uh, you'll notice I'm cleaning as I go. Really important step, guys. You know, you can save yourself so much time and aggravation at the end of the meal if you just rinse stuff off as you go and uh, uh, clean up after yourself as you go. Just makes things a lot easier. After the meal, all you got to do is, is rinse a few dishes, maybe uh, wash a pot or two, and then you just jump right back to being with your baby because you know she's going to love you for doing such a nice meal, right? And she's going to want to show that appreciation. Just saying. Boy, look at that. Is that wonderful or what? Flavors haven't even really opened up yet, and already it's got a, a good thing going on. I got a little bite of peppers, not all that much though, and that's what I want. If you want it to be hotter, add a little hot sauce to it, and I got a whole cabinet full of those things, but, uh, but I also want it to be good for people that enjoy it mild. So we're going to let this go for a while, and we'll check back. Oh, wow. Look at this. You see all those chunks of tomato and green chilies? That is just going to be awesome. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, man. It tastes more. Just to make sure. Mm. Oh, that's great. The spices are pretty subtle. I didn't do a whole lot of them, but I can taste everything right about where I want it and let it simmer a little more. I don't think I'm going to adjust. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it right where it is. It's just, just a hint of sweetness from that brown sugar, the, the cumin, the chili powder. Uh, you know, you get the you get the little bit of hint of chili flavor out of that. The cilantro kind of brightens it up. It's also very good for you. Um, you know, the garlic powder, the onion powder. And, and let me explain that <clears throat> just for a minute. You know, this is kind of a, a budget way of doing things. You know, a can of sauce, some tomatoes, and some, some dried spices. But it's also, you know, a lot of people don't keep a super stock pantry all the time. You know, but if you keep a well-stocked spice rack, you can still do most things. You don't have to have fresh garlic and onion all the time. You can use the powders. So that's why I did this. You know, it's a little faster, a little easier, a little less expensive. Oh, but man, it's good. Mm, 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 mm. Time to start boiling some noodles, y'all, and get close to serving. Yeah, I, I know it tastes okay. That's why I'm getting more. Mm. 
Okay, fine. Noodles, noodles. Eating time, y'all. Let's plate up some spaghetti. Get off of there. Okay. And now some sauce. shall we? Oh yeah. And finally, dusting of Parmesan. Go ahead and put it all over the plate just because it looks so nice. And there's more Parmesan on the table and also some uh, crushed red pepper. So, y'all, time to serve my friends. See you in a minute to close up. So I got to tell you, that was a ton of fun. And it was kind of neat to introduce my friends to a new style of spaghetti. Um, you know, I got to tell you, I do want to point out, though, it's not really as hot as you might think because the only peppers you've got in there are the green chilies. If you want to heat it up, you could always chop up some habaneros or you can use any one of the sauces out there to heat things. And I think on something like this, I'd rather do it mild and let each individual de decide how hot they want it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I hope you enjoy that one. Uh, if you're on YouTube, do me a favor, subscribe to the videos so that uh, you know when they come out. Uh, but also go over to Manly Kitchen where you'll get the full recipe and uh, instructions on how to get it all done. But that way you get all the measurements and everything. Okay. And until next time, I'm Lane. This is Manly Kitchen. And as always, play with your food.